Okay, hi, I'm having a look at Photopea, an online image editor, kind of similar to Photoshop and GIMP. This is free and it's just online, it's not downloadable. So I think it's sort of like Photoshop Elements and GIMP. So we've got all the stuff here, quick selection, magic one, and having a scroll down with selections, crop tool, eyedroppers there, healing brushes, pencil tool, clone tool, yeah, all the basic stuff you'd have on elements, type tool, for text, pen, rectangle, blah de blah, colour at the bottom, Okay, so I presume they're downloadable. So there we have a ping. So I guess you can download the image afterwards as ping or scalable vector graphic. Ping, portable network graphic. And probably others here. So here we have an intro picture, photo ping. New project, open from computer or demo. PSD, Photoshop document, document or milk.scan. I'm not going to look at them. I know what I want to do. I've got to do some new images for my computer because I've got a new page come up. So I'm going to have a mess around with this instead of GIMP, which I usually use. Because I just, I just fancy using something different really. I've never seen this before. I just come across it today. I want to see how good it is. So, open from computer, got me images already. Let's try that again, open from computer. Or maybe it's waiting. Okay, that's if a few seconds open from computer and it took me to my documents folder so I'm going to open an image probably just double click that's ah, having problems with my mouse lately I think it might need updating the device manager or something so I'm going to open this one and hopefully this will come up on the interface loading And here we are. So, like Photoshop Elements and GIMP, it's the first layer here. On the right hand side, it shows you, so I could add more layers and so forth. I don't want to, I want to add, I just want to do something kind of basic really, at the moment, add text on it. So, where was that text tool? There's one on the left. Type tool. I guess that means text. Let's um, let's try that. And then put there. Loading. It's loading now. Font déjà vu sans. Okay. I see this. That the default text for this editor, like Times New Roman, can be for Word. Make deja vu, never heard of that one. And I'm guessing here, where I clicked on, on the image, is the start of the type. Here in the bottom left of the image, there's a sort of a line. I'm guessing that's where I'm going to place the text. In a deja vu sans, now if there's a drop down menu, let's, let's click there. Nothing's happening. Nothing happening yet. Let's have a look. Ah, yeah. So, the 
cursor is not even middle, not even centered. So I'm guessing there's a lot of type typefaces. Uh, moving up, there's nothing. So it's waiting for loading time. And there we are. It starts at Paul Moore, and there's a preview of each of them. I'm trying to catch that again. Oh, fuck. I can't. Awful problems with mouse controls. Damn. Right, I'm going to type here anyway. Right. Coming soon. Which is what I want to appear. And obviously that's tiny. So that's actually tiny that is. and it says here size 24 pixels I center that No, nothing worked there. Okay, I'm going to delete there. And I'm going to change size. Size, and there's a size bar that's just come in at the top there as well. I'm going to do it manually. Right. I'm going to change that to, I don't know, 84. 84 pixels. And I've got a feeling this is the colour of a font which might be the same as this one here right let's type anyway oh it's in, my, it's in the wrong box because my, my cursor is still in there. Okay, so I'll click back down. Right. Clicked away, clicked back. That's more like it. That's a much better Much better size. I should try again. I could push it along. Right, that's clicked away from the text. Let's click back on there. Nothing. Okay, so there is a new text layer here above layer zero coming soon but I can't seem to get it centered let's have a look I 
I'm going to go back to the type tool and click on again. Right, so it's come up again. It's come up again at the top, is what I mean. Right. Now I'm going to push this with spacebar and brain center it. One. Right. Oops, still going. Coming soon. Now backspace it. Come soon is <clears throat> for my new page on my site, new templates. Now, is there a way I can center that? Actually, can I go over it? Like, oh, you can. Right. Right, so I've clicked down as if you'd copy to paste. And I'm going to go up, if I can, to the centre. Right, I'm not for problems with my mouse, you see. Something's gone wrong with the controls. Okay. Nothing. Ah, what happened there? I tried the left. I'll try again. Oh, so it does work, okay. Right, that is centered now. Another thing, could I change the color here? Color, let's have a go. Now the background color is like a pink. No wonder if I could choose that pink. Click there. I'm going to get rid of this color picker, and I wonder if I click away, will the text be that color now? No, no, because it's still black up there. No, it's still black. Right. Okay, I'm going to try it again. Maybe I didn't press OK. Oh, blast. Right, I've gone over it again. So I have selected it. Let's go to this box. Colour still there. Select OK. I'm trying to click off it. Ah. Right, it does work. Coming soon. So you can change your colour of the text, but to be honest, black suits this a lot more. Black. But of course I didn't select it. Right. Okay. So, 
there's the image there layer zero the right hand corner this panel layers panel coming soon text that I've changed from the type tool I think it's probably got all the things GIMP has got on and Photoshop elements so it could be handy for someone who don't want to download anything Now what could I do? Now how would I... Can I save that? Let's have a look. File. Save. Save as PSD. Or export as. Export as. A JPEG. Oh no, I'll have a ping, I'll have a ping, flat image. Right. So, save for web. Uh, it's got a different box now. Format ping, width and height options, aspect ratio, quality. So you can change the you can bring down quality. That's for file size. And don't use that. Save. What do you want to do with portfolio three ping? Ah. That was already called portfolio ping, so it's going to save over. I don't mind if it does. I don't mind actually save. Okay, that's all done. 